What's going on, Alabama fans? This is Brandon, a.k.a. Fresh, dropping another gem for y'all. Before I get started, please make sure you hit that like button, smash the like button. I'm going to stick with 150 for now. I'm going to drop it up, jump it up to 200 before the season starts. Price of admission is going to continue to go up, so please make sure you are going hard in the paint with me all season long so I can continue to drop a few nuggets and gems as it comes. Let's go. All right, so we're talking about the Alabama defense, guys. I already did a video about what I think the Alabama defense is going to be, but after watching that open practice, now I've been I've kind of hinted around it a little bit, but I haven't really touched on it in major detail. All right, so let me set the scene for y'all. Uh, the, the open practice was really mainly to try to showcase the quarterbacks, at least from what I saw, because there was no running plays. But let me, let me kind of explain how I, when I look at, clips and things of that, of that nature when I analyze a football game or if I'm analyzing the defense in this as we're talking about with this video I look at it from the lens of are they in the right spot are they doing what they're supposed to be doing all right for some of the past videos that I've I've done I've kind of explained you know coach basketball for over 10 years you know and defense was something that I kind of specialized in I was a much more of a defensive coach than I am on the offensive side all right. So I understand, you know, some of the principles in terms of being where you're supposed to be. Uh, so a lot of principles on man defense and basketball apply uh, similar to football in terms of, you know, making sure that you're if you're supposed to be having outside contain, you're supposed to have outside contain. If you're in a zone, you're supposed to play that zone as it is. And the one thing that has made a Nick Saban defense elite, not just having the players, is when all those guys know exactly what they're supposed to be doing yes i mean if you have a guy like a will anderson who can disrupt on 90 percent of plays i mean that's an eraser that's somebody that can just come and just you know wipe away any any mistake that might be made that's 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 uncommon all right so i remember back in 20 2011 nick saban you know some of the reporters were asking hey you know what's what's your take on you know you're not giving a lot of sacks and it may have been 2009 or somewhere in there actually and he's like well the whole objective is to affect the quarterback. You know, like that's that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to affect the quarterback. All right. Um, and but what he had around him was a bunch of people who just did their jobs extremely effectively. You know, I don't even have to, I don't have time to go through the entire 20, uh, 20, 2009 and 2011 defense and things of that nature. Whether they racked up 50 sacks was besides the point because everybody was doing an exceptional job of just doing their job. So I see a lot of these things when I'm watching the open practice would really open my eyes. A day I was able to see a lot of stuff, but the open practice was when you kind of, okay, you know, it's a couple of weeks before the game is about to start. How do they look? And you see how people are moving fast. They're moving into the right spot fast. You don't need a whole team of people running 4-4. If, if my first step, in, is in the right direction i'm already ahead of somebody who might run faster than me in a straight line all right and that's what nick saban is looking for he's looking if you're supposed to be uh on this side you know for example if you're a linebacker and and, and your job is to is to is to handle this gap and they snap the ball and you're in and you're in the right spot hey that's that's all i need we'll figure we'll figure the rest of it out yes we expect you to make the play but we'll figure as long as you're in the right spot i can deal with that all right, we'll work the rest of it out. So I, I've talked a lot about Malachi Moore and the reason why he started as a freshman and why I felt like in most of the season, in my opinion, he was Alabama's best defensive player. That was just my opinion. And the reason why I felt like that is because if you go back and watch the tape, Malachi Moore was in the right spot darn near 99% of the time. It was absolutely fantastic to watch such a young player basically play like how a Minka Fitzpatrick, um, Rashad Johnson, players that Nick Saban loves from a, a, a secondary perspective. And the reason why they were so good is because they were mentally like savants. You know, they just they just got it. They just understood this, their assignments at a very high level. And you're starting to see that from everybody. Kool-Aid McKinstry, he's a, an exceptional uh, cornerback, but he's really good because he also understands where he's supposed to be man or zone and then you got other players um like christian story um 
you know, he's smart. You, whether he plays as much as not, when you watch the film, he's always in the right spot. Uh, Terry on Arnold, he's making a huge jump. Uh, the reason why Justin Smith, our lead um, director of recruiting, rated him as a five star is because of the athleticism, um, the toughness, all of the above. And he's starting to really showcase his abilities, according to Nick Saban. And then you got your linebackers, Deontay Lawson, uh, fast, instinctive, strong, in the right spot. Uh, you got a Tresman Marshall, who, who seems to probably be the guy that's going to be lined up against uh, or next to Deontay Lawson. You know, coming from Georgia, you know, the experience, you know, in a Kirby Smart system that is very similar to Nick Saban's probably is in the right spot in the right positions. You know, so you're ex I'm expecting this this defense to play very fast. Uh, from when I was watching that film, I mean, this is you can't ask for anything better if you're the offense to be able to go against a team that is going to give you great looks, who is going to be playing very fast uh, and making it very difficult for you. Like if, 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 if we were hearing great things about Jalen Milrow and Ty Simpson and Tyler Buckner just shredding, shredding the defense, I would probably, you know, be kind of concerned if I were an Alabama fan. Like I would, I would be very concerned. Like, uh, like, yeah, it's great to know that the quarterbacks are doing great, but what about the defense? Like, why is the defense like getting absolutely throttled? Um, so I'm expecting this defense to be akin to what you may have seen in the earlier years of Nick Saban's tenure, where I do expect a lot of plays to be made um, in terms of, you know, affecting the quarterback in sacks because you got guys like Dallas Turner, Chris Braswell, Jeremiah Alexander, a lot of pass rushers. Quandarius Robinson, I mean, it's going to be quite the show. Um, but you also have a, a very fast and instinctive secondary. And for y'all, I've said this before in the video, when Nick Saban has had an instinctive, smart secondary, a secondary that he trusts, where he can do all types of stuff and all types of coverages, it's game over. So all you have to do is just make sure the offense is good. It's going to be game over. And unfortunately for Middle Tennessee, they got, they, they're the first on, on the list. So I'm expecting to see a lot of low scoring outputs from this defense. I'm expecting to see turnovers. So you saw some in A day. You saw some interceptions. You saw where this 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 team is is turning the ball over. Not didn't see a lot of that the past couple of years. All right, didn't see a lot of that. I'm expecting this secondary to really put up some numbers. I'm expecting this defense to have some turnovers. Y'all remember 2015, 2016? <laughs> you remember that? Remember when it seemed like every game it was like a pick six or a, a defensive touchdown? Don't be surprised if you see that this year. I'm just a messenger. I can't predict nothing. That's just my my thoughts. So don't be surprised. So we'll see. But I have high expectations for this defense based on from what I've seen, uh, based on a little bit that I'm hearing from uh, from other people as well. Um, but if you go back and watch that video, that open practice, if it's still up, I haven't even checked since, you know, it's been um, it's been posted. But if you go back and you watch, just watch some of the stuff I'm, I'm talking about. Go back and analyze each of those 11, 11 on 11 uh, series that they have against those quarterbacks and just watch how the defense is just moving. Watch how they're pointing and communicating with each other. Watch how there seems to be in the right spot, you know, for the most part, every single time. That's what you want to see from for those of y'all who play basketball. If you coach basketball, if you're in the right spot, it, it answers and it and it takes care of about 80 to 85 percent of everything else. And if you got guys who are just great athletes and can make plays, the rest of it, that's that's when you have something that's elite, that's spectacular. All right. And I think this defense has the 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 makings of being back to an elite defense. So we shall see. So I'm hoping to hear some information after this next scrimmage. And we'll see what uh, Nick Saban has to say, see what he says with the uh, the quarterback situation, but also what he has to say about the defense. And if he's still been pleased, because it sounds like everybody's been pleased about what the defense is bringing. And um, of course, you know, your boy is going to come back and uh, drop some knowledge and give some uh, some thoughts as well based off of what I've heard. Also, so if you like what you've heard, please make sure you drop a like, smash the like button. Leave a comment in the comment section. Make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell. Make sure you are 
following our other social channels, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Make sure you get yourself a subscription to touchdownalabama.com. All the above, guys. We're going to have a ball this whole season. This is Brandon, a.k.a. Fresh, signing off.